Hey guys, it's Believe Three Spirits on here. Hope you guys are having a prosperous weekend. And I wanted to share something with you. I had a dream the other night. It's not that long. And um, I wanted to know, are you guys seeing like shadows, spirits, demonic spirits, um, things that are like not human? The reason why I'm sharing this with you is because um, my dream consisted of something and it was like me and my friend, we were like at the door. One of our friends were leaving. It was the nighttime. And they were going outside. And when they went outside, I was looking towards the moon and, and the clouds. The clouds were out there. And you could see the moon was bright. You could see clouds. But then what was crazy is quite a few dark shadows move really fast like that. Like just like how my hand's moving. And we were like, oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, did you see that? And I, we were telling our friend to hurry up and get in the car or either to come inside and stay. And she's like, what did you guys see? Because she was facing us, so she didn't get to see us. So we both saw it. And we were like, oh my gosh, like, what's going on? And sorry. And um, I just knew that we needed to get in the house, pray, and lock all the doors and all the windows. Everything needed to be shut, sealed, and sealed up. And... Our friend took off and we told her to have her make sure you call us when you get there so we know you're okay but they were whatever it was demonic spirits they were moving fast now I know you guys know about CERN and how they opened the portal and how things were spirits and demonic spirits were even entities were even coming we already had some of those but the fact that there's more can you see them can you sense them can you feel them is other things that have not been happening, happening. Um, your light's turning on, flickering, or uh, you're hearing somebody walk in the hall, there's no one there. Or um, your kids see something, or tell you somebody told me to tell you this and there's nobody there. Or they tell you that they see somebody, but they're dead. This is what's happening to a lot of people right now. And don't think your children are crazy. Let you know that they are warning you. Um, and these are different people. people. Other people didn't want to talk about it because they, they didn't want to seem crazy. But there's something not right anymore. And I had these dreams a long time ago. Maybe 2012, 2011. Check my videos. Um, I'll link the name of it if I can't link the description because right now I'm like having somewhat computer problems and stuff like that. So it's hard for me to link the extra videos to my videos now. Um... But I wanted to let you know that we were safe for that moment, but I ended up waking up. And I don't know exactly what happened. I just know they were moving and they were coming. And you see them in the sky, you see them in the house, but they weren't in our house. So I just want to let you know, is there anything that's different? You need to be more in prayer. The way technology is with computers, cell phones, everything's so advanced. And everything is an open door. Just understand what I'm saying. It's an open door. Those of you, and like like our son, like on Angel Apocalypse made a video the other day. And the sun is, is messed up. It's ripping. It's tearing. And everything, there's an expiration date on it. Every single thing has an expiration date. Some of you think we're going to live forever. Some of you think everything is going to live forever. The sun, the moon ocean the ocean's basically corrupted now and so are other things our air our trees and if you're thinking that everything survives no they don't god did not make everything to survive he made them to have an expiration date no one's lived forever except him himself god's lived forever he was here before anything so when we're trying to warn others or we're helping each other post, repost. Please be nice. Be kind to one another. Um, I kind of got irritated this morning when I found out a brother or sister called another member, a brother or sister, a liar because they reposted something from someone else. And it wasn't their story, but they just assumed that they were lying and saying that this is their story. And I don't understand why we as a people, Christians saved, spiritual why do we have to be so mean to each other we should be nice we should be caring 
we should be using God. We should have him here and here. And he'll give you the spirit of discernment. If you don't have the spirit of discernment, yes, you'll be judging people. And yes, you will assume this and that, those things of the world. So I ask of you, be careful what your mouth says. Be careful what you breathe, what you say. Be careful of your thoughts because the devil is very busy. He'll put extra thoughts in your head. He'll put things in your head. He'll put things in your mouth for you to say. So be cautious. And before you speak, think. Before you speak, sometimes question, question God. Ask God for an answer. Don't assume that someone's lying. Because we're tearing each other down when we should be building each other up in this time of day. We should be helping and increasing love, increasing wisdom, increasing prayer constantly. And, you know, I fall short sometimes. I don't pray. I could be praying more. I pray, but I don't pray as often as I feel I should. And I feel like um, many of us are tearing each other down. Like I said earlier, don't do that. Don't do that. Because you never know what they could do, how many people's lives they are touching. Be nice. Be kind. Be gentle. Love you guys. Take care. God bless.